mean, it goes back over 150 years, I mean, in terms of the first observations of gold in Indiana. Gold is something that is not found in Indiana in the bedrock itself. It's derived from Canada, from Ontario, the area around Hudson Bay and James Bay. We know there have been multiple advances of ice into Indiana, and actually the most common areas for gold in Indiana, so uh, Morgan and Brown counties, those were actually glaciated, not the most recent glaciation, but prior glaciations. In those areas, generally the glacial sediment is thinner, and so it, and it has been reworked by water, and so there's a greater chance of finding gold in those areas, and that's partly the reason why Brown County and parts of Morgan County work for, for gold prospecting. I got into gold prospecting by watching the gold shows. That's basically what started me into this. I basically did some research and uh, found out there was gold in Indiana. Most of us, we have jobs, so we, we're just doing it for fun. I think it's probably a little bit of bragging rights, any of that kind of thing that, that makes the fun. Here in the Midwest, that's all it's gonna be about. Gatesville is one of the places where it's freely accessible. All you have to do is go in and talk to the owner in the store, and she has no issue with letting you go out there and uh, prospect. And it's gold there. That's probably one of the first places where gold was really kind of picked up at on Salt Creek, so that's why a lot of people go there. There's lots of people that come that never get in the creek. People like to camp. People like to get together, and especially with the clubs. The clubs, we kind of make it an event the kids there, they stay in the water, which is great. I think it's fantastic to get them out of the house and to get them outdoors. I just, I, I think that's one of the best things in the world. Nope, no gold yet. You usually start at Penny. From there you usually use a stream sluice, which is you're letting the creek flow that material off as opposed to Penny. From there, most people go to a high banker which now you're using motorized stuff. You have a motor which is now using that water. It's doing the same thing as the creek doing. You just got a motor now using the water to do it. And then dredging, of course, is a big vacuum that just sucking up material from the bottom of the creek to run through a sluice box. Everything is in a sluice box from that point on, usually. For me, I just enjoy it all. Modern day flood gold, you look for that in the bends of the creek where the creek makes a hard bend at the head of that bend and through the middle of that bend is where the new gold will be. And that's the gold that's just washing out. If you want to look for some of the older stuff which may have bigger pieces, you need to actually kind of look to see where the older trees are. Because there where the older trees are is probably where the creek was at one point. It takes a little bit of looking. The black sand is iron sand, basically about the second heaviest thing before you get gold. So you want to work your material down to your black sand. Kind of doing some test pans now. You can see all the black sand in there. No gold in there, but it, it's a good indicator that we're definitely in the, in the right spot, right where Mike's at over there. You're out in the wilderness, you got your feet in the water and hanging out with good people. You get away from uh, the phones and TV. <laughs> That's the big thing. If you're here in the Midwest, it's strictly for fun. You are not gonna get rich. Don't think you're gonna get rich. You're not gonna get ounces and ounces. I don't have an ounce of a Midwest gold yet, and I've been doing it since 2014. But it's fun to just go out and, and look, and to camp and to get to know people. And if you're lucky, you get a little bit of gold.